Hey guys, so I wanted to do this little video on building momentum and uh, I was having a conversation with a member earlier today. We were sort of talking about how, how tough it is to, to kind of see results quickly and uh, nothing, nothing good ever comes quickly. Um, and it takes a lot of right decisions over and over and over again to get you where you want to be. So if you look at an Olympic athlete, for example, they've made hundreds of correct decisions in a day or thousands in a week or tens of thousands over the weeks, months, years leading up to the Olympics when they get to compete with the world's best on, the, on that stage. I consider this sort of the, the same idea. So I was thinking about, you know, you're, you're basically pushing a cart up a mountain. This is basically your daily habits. and. These are the, the positive daily habits that you need to, to keep doing consistently to be able to see progress and see results. So, um, you know, depending on where you're at in your health and fitness journey, you could be like way down here and it could be like a little ways to even get to the foot of that mountain. Other people might be, you know, at the start of it or somewhere on there. And this basic, this mountain just goes on forever. It doesn't stop. You don't ever get to the peak. Uh, or the summit of the mountain until, I, I would say until you're dead. But <laughs> for now, it's just gonna be, you're gonna be pushing that cart up the mountain every day, you know, no matter what. If you're trying to reach those health and fitness goals, having those positive daily habits that you're doing over and over and over again are gonna help to get you where you wanna be. So some of those daily habits could be uh, getting proper adequate amounts of sleep. So eight to nine hours of sleep a night. If you're getting six hours of sleep or less, that is a suboptimal sub amount of time that you'd be sleeping. We definitely want to get more than that in there so that you are recovering, whether it is from training, just from warding off, pushing away disease. Uh, anytime you're run down, you get sick a lot easier. Mentally, it's tougher to focus. I know yesterday I did not get enough sleep at all and I, don't know if it showed a whole lot, uh, but I was like miserable all day. I felt like crap. Mentally, you just beat yourself up. You're like, why are you not getting this stuff done? Yeah, you just, it mentally it plays a huge role and can wear on you. So if you're getting less and less sleep, um, over time, uh, it can, it can really affect you mentally and even lead to some depression. So definitely sleep is, is a number one priority. Eating real food. So here I don't push any diets or anything like that. It's real food. If it grows, swims, flies, or runs, it's fair game. If uh, it's you know packaged up and has a whole bunch of different like uh, ingredients and stuff like that, I don't consider that real food. Even just for starters, if you're eating real food and you're not getting the results you want, then you can start tweaking. If you're not getting the results you want, start eating real food. And then once you're doing that and you got that habit down, then you start tweaking. Move and exercise, it's different for everyone. For some people, it might just be like getting out for a walk, you know, getting out on your bike, doing yoga, coming in here, doing CrossFit, doing boot camp, training, just lifting weights, moving your body. This is gonna help to make life a lot easier. So the more you can lift in here, the more you can do in here, the easier it's gonna be outside of here. People are always lifting, bending, twisting in the gym. You're doing it outside of here. And usually I'm very shocked because um, I'm used to working with fairly fit and healthy people. If someone comes in and they haven't done anything like ever exercise wise, training wise, and um, you know, say they don't have any mobility issues, they're moving really well, but they just don't even have the strength to like stand up out of a chair. And this could be like someone who's like 30 years old even, using their, their hands on their thighs or pushing up to get up because they just don't have the leg strength to do it. And we've had people like that. And you know, they're, they're young and they're you know, not overweight or anything like that. They're fairly fit looking, but it's just, they're just so weak from not doing anything ever. Definitely something to, to make sure that you're getting into ideally daily, but you know, if you're doing three, four times a week of exercise and resistance training, it'll definitely be beneficial. It's way better than nothing. Um, you know, training your brain, whether it's reading, just stimulating yourself with, with something, not just staring at your phone, not just watching movies and TV and stuff like that, but actually trying to learn something and better yourself, bringing up that cognitive function, just trying to like take new things in and really exercise that brain. Um, relationships, having like positive relationships to people that help you, support you, bring you up and, uh, and are there for you when you need them. So especially when you're down, you've got people to talk to, whether it is coaches here at the gym, you know, in your family or friends or anything like that, it's always good to have positive relationships. When all that stuff is filled up into those daily habits bin and you're pushing it up that mountain, I would say, you know, anytime 
you put a little check mark next to your sleep, eight to nine hours of sleep, put that in the bin, you're pushing it up, taking a step there. Eight real food for you know 90% of the day, that's another step up the mountain. Got in a workout, you're moving, you're exercising, that's another step up the mountain. Read when you woke up in the morning or did some journaling or uh, you're reading before bed, journaling before bed, doing something to just exercise your brain, that's another step up the mountain. Having some positive relationships, uh, just interaction with others, another step up the mountain. Every time you take a step up, the higher you get, the closer you're gonna get to the top. Not, not the death part, <laughs> but the part where you're gonna get fitter, healthier, stronger. The higher up you get on the mountain, I would say the more well-rounded you're gonna be and the fitter, the healthier, the more consistent, the more committed you're gonna be and the more you're gonna get out of your days. So if you are missing out on some of these things throughout the day, I would say it's like taking a step back rather than moving forward. And it's gonna take way more to try to get back you know, up the mountain. So they end up maybe getting to the same point all the time, then back down. Same point all the time, then back down. If you can keep those good daily habits, Things are so much easier. Life is gonna be so much easier. Balance is gonna be so much easier. And I don't mean like standing on one foot. I mean more so like balance throughout your life, throughout all these different areas. If you can keep this cart moving up the hill over and over and over, one step at a time every day, it's not easy. That's why it is a bit of an uphill battle. But if you can keep this thing going uphill more and more, it is easier to build those habits and keep that momentum other than you know working your way back down and stepping down that mountain. Hopefully that helps. Hopefully you got something from that and hopefully you're gonna use it. And most of all, hopefully this helps to make you a little bit better than yesterday.